I'm mowing in the rain, just mowing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm mowing again. Dealt with ignition issues on my truck for a good chunk of the afternoon and while I was out, one of my neighbors came out and said, hey, I just want to let you know, uh, last night, I think she said around 11, a car pulled up and they uh, started walking into your backyard. Um, and my, my yard, I've got two entrances. I've got one entrance on the door side of my house and then on the other side of the house, I call it the business entrance and that's where I, I pull my truck into the backyard every you know week I mean every night you know she said somebody uh, was walking back there she said she flashed her uh, porch light at them and they immediately ran back in their car and left I've had stuff stolen from me before I had a blower and trimmer stolen uh, overnight once two years ago when my business was pretty new and I that was all, that was pretty close to disastrous when that happened. My business provides for my wife and son. And while I can put up with a lot from a lot of people, when you start messing with my ability to provide for the people that rely on me, it, it stirs up a fury in me that I best take to the Lord. <laughs> I can either whine about it and cry about it like I'm doing in this video, or I can do something about it, which brings me back to the janky load I've got in my truck. I'm on my way to my house now. It's uh, somewhere around 7.45 p.m. on a Sunday, and I'm building gates with locks to keep people from coming into my yard. Monday. Uh, at 15 on the schedule today, and uh, I just finished up uh, lawn number seven. It's uh, 11 o'clock now, so making good time. Um, tell you, man, you know, it's, you know, last night while I was putting up the uh, gate, <laughs> I tweaked my back, man. So, I don't know. I'm getting work done, but my back hurts, man. Hey, folks. It's Randy here doing Cutting Trim. It's Tuesday. I have 16 on the schedule for today. And I just finished the first one. And in case you can't tell, it is pouring down rain. And the weatherman says it's either going to rain all day or it's going to rain off and on all day. He doesn't know. <laughs> So I, uh, I went home, and of course by the time I got home, the uh, rain had stopped, but it was really, really wet. So I figured I would just, uh, I would just give it a couple minutes, do some paperwork, head back out. About 10 minutes after I got on their yard, uh, it started pouring down rain again. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to get this sucker done. So I actually ended up mowing their lawn three times total. And I am tired as I don't know what, man. I mean, shoot, between building that fence, uh, that gate, you know, on Sunday night, which is something I'd never done before. Uh, it's holding up great though. Uh, no prowlers. Uh, but between that and uh, then 15 yards on a hot day yesterday, I'm tired, but man, this rain is insane. Hey folks, Randy here doing cut and trim. So it's Thursday. 
We've got 20, <coughs> excuse me, 20 on the schedule. So it's currently 645, heading out to the first property. So the, the route is pretty dense, so I think I'll be able to get them all done today. I wanted to settle a debate once and for all. It's the debate between high lift blades and mulching blades. And I'm just gonna settle it right here, right now. I don't know why anyone would ever use mulching blades ever. I've been using mulching blades for the last probably two weeks. And I kept thinking to myself, man, I cannot believe how dense and thick the grass has gotten. It's like impossible to cut. I'm having to double cut everything. I put on my uh, high lift blades, put them back on, all of a sudden that problem's gone. <laughs> so I don't know what you guys are seeing in these, uh, what you guys are seeing in these mulching blades, but I can tell you, man, I don't see it. I don't like it. And I'm probably never going to use them again. The only thing I was wondering, because and I don't know the answer to this, is uh, I use a uh, Toro Pro Line, a, a 36 inch, and on that machine, I don't know, man. the The blades said they went on there, but I swear the blades weren't spinning as fast. I, I really feel that way. With the high lift, they were zooming, but with the um, mulching blades, I swear it slowed down. Uh, not that I was timing it, but that was my perception. So, uh, 